Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to Division B. Today we have Carthage against Macedonia. Who do you think is going to win and also who do you think is going to win this tournament overall? So I just have to um, very quickly move my peasants to safety. Um, it's... yeah. Oh and this is a nice spot here as well so hopefully I should not get wiped out now. Um, because that would be very annoying. So, as you can see, we have in blue Carthage and in red Macedonia. Um, I personally think Carthage are going to win this one, but you know, it's. I, I really don't know. <laughs> it could be either of these factions, so. Yeah, uh, here we go. So, of course, both already have a barracks up already. I think those were built at about the same time. Uh, this video is going to continue for 30 minutes. Um, and if there's no clear winner, then it's just whoever has the highest score. Okay, so I have both done the exact same start so far. Yeah, granary, four houses, storage pit, and the barracks. Same start. And they both captured a ruin as well. My village couldn't get down there because I built that storage pattern a long time. <laughs> what an unfortunate coincidence. <laughs> oh well. Right, they've built another house. Let's see, have these built from the same. So, yeah, they have. So, basically, the same strategy so far. And it's going to be interesting to see you know, what happens overall with this one. Yep, um, Carthage doing a little bit of exploring here. Looks like uh, Macedonia are doing the same thing. And there we go, so Macedonia is already in age 2 and Carthage has entered age 2 as well. I think Macedonia got there first, um, only by a second draw. Yeah, you can see they're building a market. Yeah, both building a market. Another house there, and I think they already built their second house. What these were. So, Carthage are going for a stable, and Macedonia are not building military buildings yet, they're going for farms instead. Well, at least they're doing something different. Okay, so Macedonia has now found Carthage, and know where they are. Oh, they've stolen ruin as well. Looks like Carthage are going for a 4 farm opener and Macedonia are only going for 2 farms. Interesting. Although Macedonia are having the lead so far, so I don't know what they're doing that's providing extra points for them. Maybe runes count towards points, I don't actually know. Oh, this Carthaginian got killed by a lion. Oh. Oh well. Well, go away from me, go away. Alamar, Alamar. Right, can my villager get down there to Alamar. safety now? I just feel he's been more safe down here. Alamar. Not yet. Alamar. Once I clear that tree, it should be fine. Yeah, because if I get wiped out, then I've just got to redo, which would be very annoying. Okay, so Macedonia building their four farms now, and they've also built a, an archer range, which is interesting. So I'm interested in like, um, land here as well. I, I doubt the AI is going to use it because it's so far north, but yeah, you could get some good defensive stuff around here possibly. But, you know, just, just some towers and things. Uh, but you know, no one's under attack from that way, so you know, what's the point really? Okay, so yes, Macedonia have got out two warriors and one slinger. Let's see, um, the Carthaginian army is so far non-existent, so they don't have any units yet. And they're a little bit behind, of course, there might be some stuff that I've missed. Yeah. 
Yeah, it looks like Macedonia is building up a quick army early on to try and get an early rush in, possibly. Uh, could work for them. Might go horribly wrong. Right, Carthage starting to build some units now. We've got a cavalryman. And them in age 3. Um, Macedonia are still stuck in age 2, so that's. Wait a bit longer for that village, yeah. I'm just worried he's gonna get killed, that's all, and then. It, it should be fine. Okay, and here Macedonia go. Um, they killed one villager who was like scouting the land, and it looks like. Yeah, I thought I thought they were going to attack, they've still got another two slingers and another warrior built. They've got a big army that could cause a lot of damage to Carthage if we go now. Yeah, this, this cavalry man is not that strong as well. Three attack, zero defense, whereas these warriors are five attack, zero defense. So, yeah, just attack now. Macedonia, just attack now. You can wipe them out completely. We don't have any other units. And um, we've built an academy in it, but, you know, I think. Yeah, Macedonia need to wipe them out now before Carthage start bringing out these hoplites. Or maybe they're just going to do nothing then. <laughs> I think this is a big mistake by Macedonia. Oh, is this it? Right, as soon as that tower was built, it looks like they're going for an attack. Yeah, that's what we're going for. If they start attacking my town centre, I will have to delete it. And uh, just going to train one extra villager to make sure I don't get wiped out. Right, because if I start attacking my town centre then that gives the um, the Carthaginians an unfair advantage. Right, is it me that they actually are going for? Right, they're going for my village, you just let them kill him then. Um, and they're going for this, so I'll have to delete that. There we go. The problem was if they start attacking this one that just slows them down and you know Carthage has nothing to slow them down so it just it's fair that I just destroy it. Uh, hopefully we don't destroy the rest of my villagers. Um, I've got three of them around. I'm actually moving more north. And here they are the member base, so Carthage has responded with some cavalry. The Macedonia are already in the blossom units of towers already. I think they're actually too late to attack. They have entered level 3 though, and um, really they're just going for me. No, come on, just don't go for me, that would be very annoying. <laughs> Why? What's the point? There's no point in just going for me. Oh well. Um, so Carthage has responded also with a hoplite now. And it's too late for Macedon, but they waited too long with that army. Um, Carthage has now got the pop lights out and some watchtowers, meaning that you know Macedonia can get a few kills on the peasants, but it's just not going to be enough. You can see they're already dropping dead, that's half of the army already gone. And yeah, there we go, they're down to the final few units. And there we go, the entire Macedonian army is dead. Um, they do have a cattle that's uh, firing up this village here. Probably going to kill more of their own units if they're not careful. Um, so they have built a siege workshop, um, but you know, now it's all of a sudden it's Carthage with the army. They're about to turn it around and possibly win this. Um, Macedonia is still are in the lead so far with score though. They have one arch revenge, one barracks. And a siege workshop, um, and Carthage have an academy, a stable, a barracks, and about to build a second academy. Okay, so Carthage are now in their land. Ooh, some friendly fire there as well. Like that catapult, it got one of their own warriors. 
And it looks like we killed another warrior as well. Big mistakes with that catapult. And then it missed that other shot as well. They killed another one of their own units. That's three friendly kills there with that catapult. <laughs> Almost got a fourth friendly as well. I got fourth friendly, come on! <laughs> they finally hit an enemy. <laughs> uh, catapults are funny. Right, the Carthaginian attacks came to nothing in the end. Um, that catapult though, four friend, possibly five friendly kills, I can't exactly remember. Four or five friendly kills there. That was definitely interesting to watch. Uh. Right, so Carthage sending in some more hoplites, they destroyed one catapult. Looks like they're going for a storage house now. So they're giving up on that storage house now. They want to move into the village right now, which is probably a smart decision. Uh, just going for random storage houses is not going to win them anything, although they're still going to do it now. <laughs> what are they saying? What is this AI doing? Macedonia got a lot of catapults, so that's four of catapults in total that I see. And to be honest, I think that's the best strategy against these for life because they're just so tough. Just get catapult and just behind that man hope for the best, I think there's the best thing we can do right now. Overall with straw Carthage has taken over. Um, yeah, so this match um, ends as soon as it gets to 11. Um, and it goes by straw then. Um, unless someone's like play level one before that. Right, so I've got some hoplites through around in the north. Um, Macedonia is still defending the middle part of the map. With all of their catapults, and I think they've got a few slingers as well. Warriors are mostly pointless right now, because of course the Carthaginians are coming in with units that are. 19 attack, uh, 9 defense, and 150 hit points. Whereas, I um, can't see what the strength of the warriors are, but I think it'll be like 6 attack, 1 defense, and 100 hit points or something. So it's. They just. They've got no unit right now that can compete with these hoplites, apart from, of course, catapults. We have entered age 4 though, so it's going to be interesting to see what new units this gives them, if any. Carthage coming in with more and more hoplites, slowly destroying these towers here. Macedonia, you cannot afford to be missing these shots. <laughs> wow, they're just missing so many. Yeah, Carthage have quite a big army pushing in the middle now, going in the village. I think this could be it for Macedon if we play it right. I'm curious to see what kind of phase do I have. going to go for buildings and towers or are we just going to go for the village rush? I've got a catapult in so that should make it easier for them to destroy the buildings. And uh, we're, going, we're going for these random slingers which means they lose a lot of hit points to these towers and yeah, that's a lot of soldiers dead. Stupid AI. And they've rebuilt the tower here. Hopefully Carthage can use these catapults to their advantage along with the hoplites. Just to destroy some of these buildings and towers quicker. They're also using them against the slingers as well, which is interesting. Oh, 
Oh, the elephant got hit by a catapult rock. <laughs> oh well, that poor elephant. I think that's the tower down. I love how the towers break. It's, it looks like Lego as a fallen. You know, there's just something really beautiful about that. Just, just watch it here as it's about to happen. Ah, oh, no, it's not going to happen because the catapults died. Oh, it looks like the villagers having to wrap this off the light. More hoplites come in. This could be a lot of dead villagers from Macedonia, which is not going to be good. Yes. Um, you can see, yeah, they just pulled back. They realised it wasn't going to work in their favour. Still trying it, though. Desperate now. Throwing in villagers against these hoplites. I, I think that's that's going to be it for them. They just lost so many villagers there. They're economically not going to recover. Um, Carthage now have all of our relics there. They just lost one, but. Yeah, they've retaken them again, they've lost them again, and yeah, this looks like Carthaginian victory here. Both are in level 4. Yeah, so they're taking the relics with them home to safety now, and then they're probably going to attack again. Macedonia desperately trying missile carve, but you know, it's, it's just too late for that now. Um, I think that's definitely over now. Macedonia have won, and um, they've also captured all the ruins now as well. Um, and Car Carthage has won, sorry, that's what I meant to say. There, there it is. There it is. So well done to Carthage, GG to them. They're going to move through, and Macedonia get kicked out. Um, these are just the scores if you want to see them. Um, a lot of goals for Carthage. And the timeline. So, as you can see, Macedonia had such an amazing start, um, and then they attacked, and it just didn't go like they should have attacked earlier, they just waited too long, and which is something Macedonia should not do against Carthage because of um, the fact that they don't have hoplites, and Carthage does. Yeah, and it was all just downhill from there, and then, yeah, we got into the Iron Age first, but, you know, they're too late at that point. Carthage just kept like pouring in with units for their hoplites and then eventually the catapults and in the end Macedonia just couldn't do anything so hope you enjoyed this video well done to Carthage and goodbye